Okay, okay so let's uh, go through as much of this as we can together. So part of it, we have uh, some completing statements, and you have to be very careful because at the beginning yeah. it says do not use square as an answer. Okay, so none of these we can use square in there. All right, number one, in an isosceles trapezoid, the base angles are congruent or equal. Congruent is a better word. Uh, number two, each interior angle of a regular decagon measures, yeah, 144. Do you want me to go through how we go? No. We're good. Okay. All right. Shh, 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 shh. Number three, the vertex angles of a kite. And so if I have a kite like this, this is the vertex angle and this is the vertex angle. So if I draw the diagonal in there, what does the diagonal do to the two vertex angles? Bisect. Puts them in half and the fancy math word for that is bisect. Yeah, okay. So the, the vertex angles of a kite are bisected by the diagonal, okay? All right, number four, the consecutive angles of a parallelogram are? Supplementary, because the sides are parallel. Waiting. <coughs> All right, number uh, five. The length of a mid segment between two sides of a triangle is half the length of the third side. Number six, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a hexagon is what? The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a hexagon is? 720. 720. Yeah. 720 because? Uh, seven, yeah, it's 720. Uh, yeah, I said 720. Uh, yeah, it's 720. Okay, so that's the uh, map we're looking at there. Hey, guys, guys. I don't want to waste time and just, you guys are all well, talking about it. Right. Okay. Okay, so number six, the math is up there on the board. Hexagon means six sides. Six sides means four triangles because there's always two fewer triangles than there are sides. And since each triangle has 180 degrees, 180 times four is 720 degrees, okay? All right, number seven, the non-vertex angles of a kite are, so this angle right here and this angle right there are the non-vertex angles. What's true about those? They're equal or uh, congruent is the math word. Uh, number seven. Okay, number eight. They're congruent. Number eight. A convex quadrilateral, and again, convex just means a regular shape like this. Remember, concave is a shape with a dent in it. A convex quadrilateral with congruent diagonals is a what or a what? Uh, isosceles trapezoid. Isosceles trapezoid is one of them. Or a rectangle. Or a rectangle is the other one. A square also has congruent diagonals, but it says specifically that you can't use square. Okay? Which is the same thing for number nine. An equilateral quadrilateral is a uh-uh. Rhombus. Rhombus. Okay. It's a square or a rhombus for number nine, but we can't use squares, so we have to use rhombus. Okay? Okay. What do the measure of all the exterior angles of any shape always add up to? 360. 360. So if you want one of those, and you have an octagon which has eight sides, then you need to go 360 divided by eight, which is 45. Oh, that's 45? Yeah. Okay, what? They add up to 360, but they want the measure of an exterior angle, one of them, not all of them. Okay? Okay, here we go. So we're going to try and fill in all these angle measures, okay? Uh, and I'm shh, 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 whoa, shh, shh. go in alphabetical order here, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find angle A. If I don't just blurt out the answer, please, that does not help at all. I'm going to look at that whole big yellow triangle. Wow, wow, guys, seriously. 
one person talking. Okay? Right now, I picked me. Okay? Got this big triangle right here. We know that all of those angles are going to add up to 180. So if you subtract off this 58 degrees, that leaves you 122. Since these two angles are congruent and they add up to 122, each one of them has to be 61, 61 degrees. Okay? So A is 61. I don't know if I would be able to tuck that in there. Okay, now for B, you got this triangle right here. It's got a 90 degree angle, a 40 degree angle, and so this one right here has to be 50. So what does B have to equal to make those supplementary? 130. So B is 130. Okay? All right, then we need to find, uh, we need to find C. Well, this angle right here has one mark on it. This angle down here also has one mark on it, so they're the same. So that means C has to be 130. Okay? All right, now for me to get a D, I'm not sure, let's see. So if this is 50, then that means that uh, this is 130, and this is 130, and let's see, do we have anything else going on there? Anybody see something we can use? Uh, well, I'm looking for D. I have a big triangle right there that might help me. Um, I have a shape right there, but I don't know all the pieces of that. If you need G, you can use like the... So we just jump, yeah. should we skip D and come back to it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at what? What's a good one to do next? Uh, H. You got E? How, oh yeah, how do you get E? Uh, okay. So you've got this 50 that's hard to see. You've got that 61 that I didn't even write down. That adds up to uh, 111. So that, excuse me, that's what E is going to be, 111 degrees. Okay, and C was 130. All right, um, let's see. Does E help us with anything else? Uh, e, we just looked at this little triangle right here, and I didn't draw that very well. so. Uh, it's hard to tell, but this angle right there is going to be 69 degrees, so that one's going to have to be 111. Okay? Um, okay, anybody got something? Yeah. No? Um, I can find H if we look at this shape right here. This is a quadrilateral, right? So they're going to add up to 360. So 76 and 90 is 166 plus 50 is 216, which means that this guy right here, 360 minus 216 is 144, which means that H is also 144. So that can give us uh, H. Um, and I got that again by looking at this quadrilateral right here that you know adds up to 360. Uh, so if this is 54, then this guy right here, these two have to add up to 180, right? Yeah. So that one's going to be 36. So this is a little triangle right here. We've got 86 so far, so what's that? 94, which means F is 86. Okay? Okay, give us G. Um, well, you can go, just like that, there's like the E, and there's 90 angles, and there's 76. There's the E, the 90, the 76. Okay, so this is good. Yeah, good. So we have a big quadrilateral right there. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so these four are going to add up to 360. So 111 plus 90 is 201. 201 and 76 makes 277. So what's 360 minus 277? Uh, 83. Yeah. Okay. So that means that G is also 83 because those are vertical angles. And then we can find D. Okay, and then we can find D how? Um, you can go. Find what? You can find D. Uh, if this is 50, then this oh. is 50. Yeah. And then if you this is 83, then this one has to be 97 for those to be supplementary. Or you can just no. quadrilateral. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can do like the okay. vertical angles to see. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little faster. So I can look at this quadrilateral right here. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.